So yeah, welcome back, Lodi. This Pokemon show bringing some Pokemon goodness for you. So Tainas, it's third November, and we are almost late for this video because many of you are aware of the November content update. But for those who aren't aware of the events, what's coming up next in November month? So this video is just for you. In case you miss out anything, be sure to watch this video till the last. So without any further ado, let's get started. So trainer, here is the November content update. This infographic is provided by the Pokemon Go app official. So you don't need to actually make your infographics and show up to the world. So the first thing I saw is the Girls Lord focusing on the season of life. So maybe Girls Lord will be coming up later in the five star rates. So talking about the five star rates. Starting from October 27 until November 8, Giratina Origin Form will be available as a layer 5 rate boss. So, if you have somehow missed the chance to catch the altered Giratina Origin Form, so you can do this until November 8. So, now the second, the most interesting one, which is the Debut of the Curse Lord, the Ultra Beast Pokemon in the level 5 star weight boss. So, starting from November 8 until November 23rd, Curse Lord will be appearing more frequently in the 5 star weights as a level 5 weight boss. And be sure to do that and register the new Ultra Beast Pokemon in Pokemon Go. And following it will be the another Ultra Beast Pokemon which is the Nihi Lego starting from November 23rd until December 1st so basically these are available in 5 star weights as per the events so let's move forward talking about the Pokemon which are available in Mega Rates so October 20 until November 8 the Mega Vanity will be available in Mega Rates so if you haven't do that Mega Rates be sure to do that and complete your Pokedex of Mega and following with that the mega gyarados is once again available in the mega raid and and will available until november 23rd so if you remember previously was a mega gyarados raid day in which you have a chance to encounter shiny gyarados i did not manage to get a shiny but many of them are managed to get a shiny so if you want to get some mega energy of the mega gyarados be sure to do that and starting from November 23rd until December 1st Mega Hondoom will be available as a great boss in Mega Raids so now talking about the events which are lined up for the November month so starting from November 1st until November 2nd Dia de Mortes which is known as the Days of the Dead event happened in Latin America and Mexico so if you haven't watched my video there is a video of that one also the very first ever November community day which is classic community day so the previous featured pokemon is going to feature during this November community day on November 5th which is the Dratini so if you haven't played the pokemon go that day when the Dratini was released be sure to catch some shiny Dratini and evolve that Dragonite that knows the community as soon as you move that community or something like that starting from November 9 until November 17 a uh, new event known as greedy blue tones event will start and we are not, not aware what the event details are not revealed yet so there will be a team go rocket takeover which might hint that we are getting another new shadow legendary pokemon this time it may be the mega vetoaza g1 is going to use it's a guess it's not a spoiler or it's just a prediction so team go rocket takeover will happen on november 14 until november 17 and this is the best time to use your charge tm to remove frustration from the desired shadow pokemon you want to so that you can use in go battle league or so and we are getting another november community day which is the non-classic one and this time it's gonna feature teddy ursula in the 
wild more frequently and the key one will get a shiny for sure and we are getting the teddy ursula third stage which is i think teddy i don't recognize the name right now but it will evolve only when the moon was full light so during the whole event day you will see a full moon and you will able to evolve the ursa ring into ursa luna or whatsoever also guys if you have missed the a light red like me of hoopa unbound or something there is a chance another shot which is happening on november 13 from 11 am to 5 pm local time so basically one egg will hatch at 11 am so the second egg will hatch on 2 pm and a third one will be hatch on 5 pm and it will take 24 hour to hatch that egg now talking another event astro eclipse event so the eclipse is coming soon the season is going to change soon in real life so the eclipse event is coming soon maybe you can see solar of lunatona and many more rock or sun or moon type pokemon grazelia maybe during this event duration and now on 27 event is not confirmed yet which is around am to 5 pm local time maybe is a mysterious event coming soon we don't know so talking about the another live event which is the pokemon go safari zone in singapore so i know a youtuber brandon tan lives in singapore maybe he will definitely going to enjoy this safari zone start it is a two day safari zone event start from november 18 until november 20 so talking about the raid hours november 2 will feature giratina november 9 girls lord november 16 girls lord and november 23 nehi lego and november 30 nehi lego bring the spotlight back to me so the spotlight hour feature gonna be the pokemon such as duskull as you see now my first duskull wearing a flower crown for the days of the dead event number 8 will feature crogonon number 15 will feature porygon number 22 second will feature petal and number 29 will feature hotwood and many of them will be shiny and if you are on a level where you have to use stones to evolve pokemon porygon is the best one because you can actually evolve a lot of porygon if you have or you have a chip to evolve the porygon be sure to do that and catch many as you can now talking about the research breakthrough and counter during the november month so if you completed all the seven day field research tasks you will be able to unbox the research breakthrough box and which will feature a mysterious pokemon which is going to be star me and it will be available from november 1st until december 1st and it, if you are super lucky you might get a shiny one and you are getting the one star piece for free maybe for the reason that the community is coming and it's going to be the triple catch starters bonus so you can collect a lot of star pieces and use that to catch the starters collection to need power up pokemon something like that so yeah to end this it all for today's update for regarding the november content update i hope you guys did found this video interesting and amazing and be sure to be regularly updated regarding the events coming soon in pokemon go so whenever you feel like that if you are unupdated be sure to check out my video and if you have doubts to clear up be sure to actually tag me and ask me about that so the november content update is definitely going to be the amazing content update i have ever seen in pokemon go it's a debut of the new ultra beast pokemon the new various events are coming soon in pokemon go so yeah definitely excited for that are you excited for the november content update let me know in the comments down below so trainers with that being said is thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you are new and i will definitely catch you guys covering all the latest upcoming events in pokemon go so until then bye guys